geysers is the world's largest geothermal field. It is a complex containing 18 geothermal power plants that draw steam from more than 350 wells. There are 591 wells but only about 376 are active. The maximum well depth is almost 13,000 feet deep. Located in the Mayacomas Mountains about 72 miles north of San Francisco, the geysers produces 20% of California's renewable energy. For about 12,000 years, Native American tribes built steam baths and thermal pools at the geysers. They used the steam and hot water for cooking and healing purposes as well as ceremonial and spiritual practices. The thermal pools were used for rheumatism and arthritis. The muds were used to soothe skin rashes and other aches and pains. Six Indian tribes inhabited this area. And today it's the Calpine Corporation, with the largest generator of electricity from natural gas and geothermal resources in the whole United States. Between 1848 and 1854, Archibald Godwin established a hotel and spa at the site. It was called the Geysers Resort Hotel and attracted tourists including Ulysses S. Grant, Theodore Roosevelt and Mark Twain. The resort declined in the mid-1880s for the most part until 1938 when a landslide destroyed the hotel, leaving only the bar, restaurant, some small cabins and the swimming pool. Much of this was destroyed in a fire in 1957. In 1960, Pacific Gas and Electric began operation of their 11-megawatt geothermal electric plant here at the geysers. The first geothermal wells drilled here were the first in the entire Western Hemisphere. Seismic studies suggest there is a large magma chamber four miles beneath the surface and that is greater than 8 miles in diameter. By 1999, steam extraction had begun to decline, therefore power output was in decline. Can't have that, so they decided to inject sewage into the steam field to make more steam power. Sewage is now pumped and piped from water treatment plants in Lake County about 50 miles away. The city of Santa Rosa also got in on the action with another 42-mile-long sewer pipeline that delivers 11 million gallons a day to replenish the geyser's steam field. For the past several decades, small earthquakes are regularly recorded in this area. Most of them are 3.0 magnitude or smaller. This has been proven to be caused by the sewage injections. There are no natural faults in this area. Just what California needs. More earthquakes. Before 1969, there were no recorded earthquakes above magnitude 2 in this whole area. In 1973, a magnitude 4 occurred, and events have increased since then, with most earthquakes in this area registering at 3.0 until 2014, when a 4.5 and a 5.0 occurred. In 2005, special abatement equipment was installed at two of the geysers' plants to reduce the amount of mercury released through the waste vapors. There is also arsenic detected in the vapor but reported to be at low levels. In a sense, we exchange sewage for power. And call it green energy. I call it brown energy. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and click one of these links for more videos of interesting Northern California. Thanks for watching.